the let function. It's time to talk about that. Last week at the MVP Summit, we saw this thing and it sent people into fits. Some people lost their dignity and did some crazy stuff that I can't tell you about. The let function is amazing, but we got to slow down and think. It's forcing us to think in a different way. We've got to be strategy minded and think several steps ahead about what we want to do. And that's great because everything we do in Excel should be thought about with a strategy. We shouldn't just jump in and start doing stuff. That's how you wind up in a fix. I'm going to show you this in three acts. Act one. Here we've got three sets of data the items and cost and then the labor and then the markup that gets applied to the cost. We want to get a total. Let's do let. Equals let. Open parentheses. It's asking for name one. I'm going to use the name of CT for cost total, comma. Now, what do I want CT to represent? I want it to represent the sum, open parentheses, of this, close parentheses, comma, calculation are name two. I want a second name, and I want to call it L for labor, comma, here, there's a labor cost, comma, MU, that's the third name, comma, that's the markup, comma, now I can do a calculation or a fourth name. Now we're ready to do the calculation. The calculation should be open parentheses, CT times MU, close parentheses, plus L, close parentheses, enter. That is the total cost of whatever work is being done here. Now let's move on to more complex, more real world examples. Act two. I call this the recycle example. We've got all this information about donations and then we want a calculation that says for each person, take every one of their donations that's $50 or more and if they have at least five, those five need to equal at least $750. And if all of those criteria are met, that person gets a prize. Andy has two transactions over $50. He does not get a prize even though he's exceeded the minimum of $750. Conrad has eight transactions over $50, but they only total $705, no prize. Now we go to Sylvester, five transactions, they total $755. Sylvester would get a prize. Let's write this formula for Andy. Equals, let, open parentheses, donation minimum count, comma, count ifs criteria range now we're back into the lead comma now we want donation total call this DT comma now we want some ifs some ifs open parentheses Close the sum ifs. Now we're back in the let. This is where we want to do our calculation. Comma. If, open parentheses, and open parentheses, DMC is greater than or equal to this five. And I want F4. Comma for the and. Now, DT. And notice that little hint there, we have DT as an option for us because we named it as a variable in the let. Greater than or equal to this $750. F4, close the and, 
comma, if that's true, then say prize. Double quote. Otherwise, stay empty. Close the if. Close the let. Enter. Andy does not get a prize. Now I'm going to double click. Erica, Jean, and Sylvester get a prize. Act three. Now I'm going to suggest let as a good idea for this because it will allow us to see. We'll get some clarity. So we've got to calculate the commissions. Notice coffee gets paid at 4.17% and then tea is 11.22%, but only on orders over $500. Let's calculate the commissions here. Equals, let, open parentheses, call this coffee, comma. We want some ifs, open parentheses, the sum range is here, comma, where the criteria range Go here, comma, criteria one, Sam, comma, criteria range two, here, comma, and the criteria is coffee. Close parentheses, comma, our next name, T, comma, some ifs, open parentheses, sum range here comma criteria range one also in the amount column comma the criteria where it is greater than or equal to ampersand 500 comma criteria range two the rep comma sam comma Criteria range three, the product line, comma, where it equals T. Close the sum ifs, comma. Now here is where I'm gonna make the calculation. Open parentheses, coffee times the 4.17 F4, close parentheses, plus open parentheses, T times the 11.22, F4, close parentheses, close the let, enter. And that is Sam's commission. Bring this down. And that's what we owe everybody. Final thoughts. I'm gonna go up into the formula bar and break this down make some room so we've got coffee and then I'm gonna go alt enter now T calculation is on our second row then here is our calculation alt enter in this example we didn't recycle anything but we had that complex calculation to do once we got all of our other math done and if we discover that something is wrong it's easier to see if that last piece, the actual calculation was off, or if our T calculation was off, or if the coffee calculation was off. This was a lot, but it's worth it. So if you've got let, go play with it. And I'll see you in the next video.